Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So last month I got the chance to snag a couple of interesting indie titles that caught my eye. One of which was one that I haven't really seen too many people talk about. The game that you're seeing right now is called Mortal Sin, and it's all made by one developer. Mortal Sin classifies itself as an intense action horror roguelike, and I can assure you that is exactly what you can expect from it. I really was not prepared to enjoy myself this much, so I knew I needed to make a video on it just so you all can see. So Mortal Sin has an incredibly polished feel to it, and it blends together a really enjoyable build synergy that most games just overcomplicate. Now the game isn't some simple hack and slash, it can be brutal but extremely rewarding at the same time. And the grind isn't nearly as bad as recent roguelikes. With constant rewards whether it be new classes or a new color palette, it's all extremely enjoyable. Now let's get back to the builds. The builds can vary from Berserker, who uses only long greatsword type weapons, to a monk who is disciplined in the way of the fist. Every class has a nice balance, but like most roguelikes, your character can only be built within the run itself. But not to worry, Mortal Sin allows you to go for just about any playstyle, and that's probably what surprised me most. I found myself unlocking class after class and enjoying every single one of them equally. And that goes without saying that nothing really felt gimmicky or stale. Not to mention that the layouts of the dungeon areas are all procedural, so every single run will provide you with enough replayability. Now something that immediately stood out to me about this game was the use of its color palettes. The game is muted for its own thematic reasons. It also shares a common color palette between a nice blend of several shades that you earn over time just by playing the game. The unique art style has been modified to bring in a more dreaded tone, and the darkness of the levels brings its themes of horror to the front row. As I kept playing, I noticed that the music is beautifully fixed around your character. When they're in the hub world, the music can be somber with a hint of melancholy, and when you're in the heat of the battle, the music reflects the aggression in the room. Not only does this game have an awesome gameplay loop matched with an extremely satisfying endgame, but I tend to love it when games just keep it simple. The bar for entry is literally the price tag, and it is very much worth it. Not many roguelikes play as well as Mortal Sin does, but that's likely because of how active the developer actually is. I joined the game's Discord at the main menu, and I saw firsthand just how dedicated he is, as well as his community. Within his Discord, he has an area for feedback, bug reports, bug bounties, and an idea section for features that the community would like to see implemented into the game. Now I always love seeing the passion that goes into a project like this, and knowing that someone is taking your ideas and imagination into consideration is even cooler. One thing I will say is that I've never quite enjoyed dismemberment quite like this game does. I mean, running face first into a mage and then slicing his arms off just so he can't throw fireballs at me anymore is so satisfying. Even making common enemies into headless puppets is fun, and watching them walk into a trap moments later always makes me chuckle to myself. Like I said, the combat is extremely satisfying and overall the most fun I've had in a long time with melee weapons. Now, the fact that this game is in early access is insane. It has more content than most AAA titles do nowadays, and I really hope it gets the recognition it deserves. If there are any other games that you would consider to be hidden gems, please feel free to leave me a comment below. For me though, Mortal Sin is everything and more than a classic roguelike should be, and the dungeon crawling through hordes of enemies just to have them eventually be held down by your power and class build is all that much more rewarding. I hope you enjoyed this video on Mortal Sin. I love having the chance to talk about games like this on here to you all, so if you would like to see more hidden gems like this one, then you better make sure you're subscribed. Hope you all have a wonderful day or night. My name is Zen, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.